What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to my channel, What's Good with Chef Clay. And today we're gonna be doing something a little different. Um, I don't have a cameraman today. So today is Mother's Day. So as you know, I'm taking it easy. So I'm gonna be operating the camera myself. So y'all just bear with me. And we're gonna get through this nice dinner together, all right? Peace. All right, guys, so today's Mother's Day menu consists of grilled ribeyes, um, black garlic shrimp, and um, butternut squash risotto with bacon. So that's going to be very, very delicious, believe me. So we're going to get into it. You guys stick around. All right. All right, guys. So now I'm about to get this risotto started. Um, if you watched my first video, then you already know how it goes. So I'm getting my onion in there. Get that nice and sauteed up. So now I'm gonna show you guys with the risotto that I was telling you um, a more efficient and easier way to do it from the first video when I did the uh, game hand and the mushroom risotto. So I'm not gonna be cooking the risotto right away. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cook it partially and then put it on a sheet pan. So first when I get it cooked, I'll, um, I won't let all the water evaporate. I'll leave just enough water and then I'll take it off the heat and then I'll cover the, the pot in plastic wrap and then I'll let it let the steam finish cooking. Um, I'll let it finish cooking on its own through the, throughout the rest of the process. That way you don't have to worry about overcooking it. Um, you can come back to it. It only takes about 15, about 15 minutes to um, get my garlic in there. Yeah, it takes about 15 minutes once you take it off the heat and just let the steam do all the all the work. And then you can focus on something else. And then once it uh, finished steaming, put it on a sheet pan, and then we're gonna get it in the fridge to cool off. All right. So we just let these guys get nice and tender. It smells really good. Also, I'm not sure if you guys um, are familiar with black garlic, but um, it, it's amazing. You have to try it if you, if you never have. Um, very different. I got this off of uh, Amazon. As you all know, garlic is good for the heart. And then they say, well, studies have shown that black garlic is even like 10 times better for you, so. <clears throat> but the flavor is so deep and rich. And it almost has like a sweetness to it. But it's so good, so good. Onions and garlic, nice and cooked. So I'm going to be adding about eh, about two cups of risotto. Now, also, if you feel that you've cooked too much risotto, no worries, because the risotto you can freeze it. And you can pull it out and thaw it out. And then when you thaw it, it won't be all the way cooked. So you still have room to work with, you know? So that's why I under, I par cook it. 
because if I don't if I don't use all of this and I make too much, then we can always have it for the next time. Just pull it out the freezer, let it thaw out, and you have perfect risotto. Now I know the if any Italian people are look watching this video, I'm so sorry. I know this is this is not the traditional way of making risotto, but this is what's good. So hey. <laughs> The risotto nice and toasted. Oh yeah, I don't have a camera camera lady today. Like I said, today is Mother's Day, so she's taking it easy. So y'all just bear with me. Alright. Hopefully I've been doing good so far. Nice and toasted. Definitely keep staring because uh, it does burn. Right, I think that's about good. Now I'm gonna add my stock. This method, you add enough tick, enough stock to cover the risotto. So when you put your finger in there, and you go from the um, from the point of the risotto to about the first line on your finger, that's when you know you have enough liquid. So we're just gonna let this come to a boil. Let that chicken stock reduce. And as our risotto begins to cook, we'll check, we'll keep checking it. And then I'll show you what you need to have, which what it needs to look like before you take it off the heat. Alright? Peace. Alright guys. So while our risotto is working, I'm gonna go ahead and get my uh, butternut squash nice and chopped up. Pretty big, huh? So I'm gonna be cutting off the top end and the bottom end, which makes it easier to peel. See that? skin on this butternut squash is really uh, tough. It almost has the same the same um, texture as a pumpkin pumpkin skin almost. So they're all you know they're all in the same family in the squash family so and there you have it a nice fully peeled butternut squash get this in the, in the trash be right back Just about ready to come. 
come off. So I'm gonna cut the long end first. And then you have this part with the seeds. So you just wanna cut that in half. And just get a spoon and just scoop that up. Hopefully all the mothers have had a lovely Mother's Day so far. Um, by the time you, see, you guys see this video, Mother's Day will be the uh, come and gone. But hopefully you guys enjoyed your day, your special day. And see, it's nice and clean out. show you now how I dice the squash. So I'm gonna go in a straight straight line straight down like that. And I'm gonna go one more time. Mm. Straight now. This is a very tough vegetable, but it's so delicious. All right. So I'm going to do a nice small dice on these guys. And then I'm going to boil them and cool them off. Boil them, I'm gonna boil them until they're nice and tender, but not all the way cooked. Mm-hmm. Risotto's good. All right, guys. So this is what you want with your risotto. So there's still a little bit more water in there. So I'm gonna take my plastic wrap, cover it up, and then set it to the side and let it sit for about 15 minutes, all right? All right, this is how it should look, nice and covered. So we're gonna go for about 15 minutes. It is nice, it's very well undercooked. So that way we can try to get it up get it to the right um, tenderness or doneness with this process. No hush, no fuss. All right, so here we have our squash. Looking good. So that's about the size that you want your squash. Little small piece. Yep. All right, I'm gonna come back. I'm gonna show you how I finish these guys up and get them in some boiling water. All right. All right, guys. So our risotto has been in the pot for about 15 minutes resting. So right now, that's about a perfect, um, a perfect doneness. It's not all the way cooked. There's still like a lot of bite in it. If you know what I mean, it's not like mushy. It still has some texture. That way, I'm about to put it in, the, in my fridge and let it cool off to stop the cooking process. And then when I'm ready for it later, 
I'll start it back up. So there you have it. All right. So now I have my butternut squash nice and diced up. I'm gonna go ahead and get that boiling and then get the grill fired up. All right, you guys stick with me, peace. All right guys, welcome back. So what I have here, two 12 ounce ribeyes that I'm gonna go ahead and season. I have a little onion powder. I'm gonna hit on both sides. And then by far one of the best seasonings McCormick's has, roasted garlic and herb. So good, man. Great for grilling. So like I was saying, these are great. The seasoning is really great for seafood, chicken, vegetables, whatever. So I'm gonna give her a nice flip. Then hit the other side with the onion powder. And the garlic. All right, guys. So like I was telling you about the black garlic, here you have it. It's peeled already. It's peeled and this is unpeeled. So the garlic is put in a, almost, this, uh, well, you can use a rice cooker, but I think it's about 18 days that it sits in the rice cooker. So it's pretty much fermented garlic, but the flavor is out of this world. So here's my butternut squash that I boiled for about, hmm, I say about seven minutes just to get them nice and tender. And then I put them in an ice bath, which means it's just ice and water. And then you put them in there to stop the cooking process. Then I have some nice um, maple flavored bacon. Then I have my shrimp here. And then here I have some nice little octopus. My four-year-old loves them. Don't ask me why or how, but that kid loves them. Look at that. Pretty cool. So I'm gonna marinate those as well with a little bit of this black garlic. Um, when we come back, I'm gonna show you the marinade. Oh yeah, and also I have some tenor, beef tenderloin here, which is for the little ones, the young, the, the kids, because they don't like uh, ribeyes. They don't know what they're missing out on, but the tenderloin has like little to no fat. So they don't like fat on their steaks. I know, they'll grow to love it though, eventually. All right, guys, I'll be right back. So my marinade for my seafood is gonna be ponzu, which is um, soy sauce, lemon juice, uh, rice wine vinegar, and all those combined equals ponzu. You can find that in your grocery store as well. Then I have some kosher salt, the black garlic, and then the black pepper. So I'm gonna combine all these ingredients, let them marinate for about 20 minutes. Then I'm gonna put them on um, these skewers and get them on the grill. All right. How you guys? I got my tenderloin. My ribeye's working. guys welcome back so what I have here is my squid on the skewer I mean my octopus octopus excuse me on the skewer then also my shrimp 
They've been marinating for about 20 minutes. We're gonna get these guys on the grill. Put this thing does look about. I've got my squid and my cook on the grill now. Octopus. back in to get that risotto started. All right. Got it. So we're starting with our risotto. So I'm running at about a medium high heat. I've got my chopped bacon in here. And I added just uh, like a teaspoon of oil just to get things going. So we're gonna let this render. Get all those good flavors out of there. Oh, yeah. Smells so good. Maple flavored bacon. Mm. All right, I'm gonna let that render down. Then I'm gonna add my butternut squash. Get my risotto. Stick with me, all right? Thanks. All right, got that octopus nice and charred, looking real good. Got the shrimp with the black garlic, nice and caramelized. Yes, I'm taking a beautiful render. I'm going to add my squash. Mind the squash is already cooked. At this point, all we're doing is heating them up. All right. Make sure it gets nice and coated in the uh, in the baking grease. So good. So good. Now, I'm going to throw about two tablespoons of butter. This will be for the risotto. So it doesn't stick to the pan. And give it some more creaminess. Oh, that's so lovely. You can smell this. Hmm? You won? Good job. Alright, got a butter 
nice and melty, everything is tossed in. I'm going to start adding my risotto. I also have some green beans that I'm going to saute in it as well. Alright. When we come back, we're going to start getting this risotto together. Alright? Okay. So I've added about a, a quarter of a cup of chicken stock just to help loosen things up. So I'm running at about a medium heat right now. I'm about to turn it back up just a little bit. Then I'm gonna be adding a quarter of a cup of heavy cream. Just get that mixed around in there. I'm gonna have to start tasting this stuff on camera for you guys so you get my full reaction. Authentic, true, organic reaction to tasting some of this good stuff that I'll be cooking. No cap in here. All right, so I'm gonna be adding Parmesan cheese. So this is about a, I'm gonna put about a half a cup of Parmesan. Just a little more. Oh yeah. It's coming together quite nicely. Good stir. Oh, that's coming together good. All right, I'm gonna let this simmer for about five minutes. And I'm gonna go ahead and get these green beans started. Then we're gonna do the final plate up. All right, guys. All right, guys. Got my green beans here. I'm going to be adding my potato corn and butter. Country salt. Not actually butter. It's like a nice blend of oil. Okay. And a teaspoon of garlic salt. Glass of white wine. Okay. Let all these come together. We'll be right back with the plate up, alright? Okay. Alright guys, so here we go with the final plate up, I've got everything ready, got my risotto here, looking nice and good, oh yeah.
complete offset there. to you. And two different plate up files. Octopus right on top of there. Yep. You sure we gotta do that? Alright. So, here you got it. Here you have it. Mother's Day. Perfectly cooked. We've got our butternut squash and maple bacon risotto. Mm -hmm. Grilled ribeye. Yeah. Black garlic marinated shrimp. And uh, sauteed green beans. Yeah. You get the same thing? Then we have the beef tenderloin. Yeah. The grilled shrimp. Yeah. Butternut squash risotto. Then we got some octopus. And some octopus on top. Yeah. And some green beans. Yeah, we got some cheese. Hey. Hmm. And that's what's good. That's what's good, too. <laughs> Even on Mother's Day. Which what? Mother's Day should be every day, but. Yeah, but. This is what's good. This is what's good, man. Don't forget. To like, comment, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Yeah. Um, please leave me some comments. Let me know how I'm doing. Um, any questions that you guys may have. All right? Jump, 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 jump to buy bait. That's what's good. That's what's good. Peace. Peace.